Hello, my dear students. Welcome to my today's video lecture on one more topic in semester five, paper six, entitled Genetics and Biotechnology, prescribed by Bangalore City University. And in this class, I will be restricting myself, restricting myself to teach you about session six that is about inheritance pattern of Rh factor and uh, erythroblastosis vitalis okay, and its medical complications in humans. In layman's language what we call blue baby formation and how exactly it happens. Okay? And me, Dr. Meera BK, working as Associate Professor of Zoology in Maharani Science College for Women, Palace Road, Bangalore 1. We shall start our discussion today. So today's topic is something concerned with Rh factor and its significance and a note on erythroblastosis fetalis. So you can see the plate here. This is the gist of erythroblastosis fetalis, okay, which I'll be discussing you in detail. I'll discuss about this plate in detail in next coming few minutes. You just remember this plate. Now the learning objective is to understand the importance of Rh factor and uh, its pattern of inheritance in human blood groups and once the session is over we will be able to understand the inheritance of Rh factor in ABO blood group system. We will understand the significance of Rh factor in blood transfusion. We will also come to know about the case of erythroblastosis fetalis condition that is RH incompatibility. What are the prerequisites before beginning this session is you should have a fair knowledge of multiple alleles, inheritance of ABO blood groups in humans which has been taught you in the previous session that is session number 5. You can always go back to your LMS Karnataka and uh, open this session 5 to know more about uh, multiple alleles than compatibility in blood transmission. These are the prerequisites which are available in session 5 of the same paper. Okay. Now, so apart from ABO blood groups, the blood can be RH positive or RH negative based on the presence or absence of RH antigen. Okay, this was for the first time found in the membranes of erythrocyte membranes of rhesus monkey, hence the name RH factor. RH stands for rhesus antigen or rhesus factor first found in rhesus monkey, hence the name. And the persons who possess this antigen on the membrane of their erythrocytes are Rh positive and those who do not have it are designated Rh negative. This Rh factor was also discovered by K. Landsteiner and one more person A. S. Wiener. I will talk to you about Wiener's contribution to this topic little later in one of my slides. So if I say the blood group is A positive means blood group is A and Rh positive. A minus means blood group is A, Rh negative. Like that we will have A plus, A minus, then B plus, B minus, like that. Okay. Now. 
So what is the significance of Rh factor in blood transfusion? You know, similar to AB antigen compatibility, what you have learnt in your session 5. It's also important to check Rh antigen compatibility when you are doing blood transfusion. And the Rh positive person can donate blood only to Rh positive, okay, not to Rh negative person. If Rh negative person receives blood from an Rh positive person, the Rh antigen provoke production of antibodies and that leads to agglutination of the cells. And in an emergency, if a A negative person, that means Rh negative person with blood group A is transfused blood from A positive person, the recipient survives. But what happens is the body starts producing antibodies against the antigen. And if the person receives A positive blood again for the second time, you know, transfusing second time will result in the death of the person due to antigen antibody reactions. All right. So this is where exactly the Rh factors plays a role in blood transfusion. This is a plate which tells you the suitable donors and recipients as far as blood transfusion is concerned. See, a, a positive person can donate to A positive and AB positive and can receive from A positive, A negative, O positive and O negative. In the same way, A negative person can donate to A negative and A positive. AB negative and AB positive, negative, okay. Then, he can receive blood from A negative and O negative, like this, you know, this chart explains which blood group can donate blood to which all other blood groups and receive blood from people which all other blood groups and you can see here AB positive is a universal recipient but can donate blood only to AB positive. And O negative is a universal donor, okay, but can receive blood only from a O negative person. So this table briefs you the holistic idea regarding the compatibility or suitability of donors and recipients during blood transfusion. Then, what is this erythroblastosis fetalis? This is a condition which was studied by Levin in newborn children. All children suffering from erythroblastosis fetalis, they were found to be Rh positive and they were born to a mother who is Rh negative. Mother is Rh negative, please note baby is Rh positive. And uh, the baby receives the Rh antigen from father, from paternal side. And, uh, but the mother is Rh negative. And this Rh antigen, therefore, leaks into the mother's bloodstream through the placenta. And uh, this Rh antigen provokes the production of antibodies in the mother's body. And the Rh antibodies produced in the mother's body will pass through the placenta and reach the fetus, okay, resulting in death and breakdown of large number of RBCs and the process is called hemolysis, right. Then, so the destruction of number of RBCs by spleen and liver causes increase in the pigment bilirubin Okay, pigment levels of bilirubin and the fetus will end up in hemolytic jaundice. Okay, then as many mature RBCs are dead, immature RBCs that is erythroblasts, please note not erythrocytes, erythroblasts replace the mature erythrocytes. 
second repercussion and these erythroblasts place not they are nucleated unlike erythrocytes and therefore carry insufficient oxygen resulting in anemia since the blood contains many erythroblasts this condition is called erythroblastosis fetalis and the baby becomes blue therefore in common language it is called blue baby formation okay and this is the plate right so you can see here the maternal circulation and mother is rh negative right whereas the fetus is rh positive and the rh positive red blood cell enters the maternal circulation through placenta and in the maternal circulation therefore you will get anti rh antibodies and then what happens the antibodies you know from the maternal circulation cross the placenta right and reach the baby resulting in agglutination of fetal rh positive red blood cells right leading to hemolysis right so this is what exactly happens in erythroblastosis fetalis as a result the baby will become blue and the first child in such cases wherein the female is rh negative and the boy and the fetus is rh positive you know the first child in such cases is born with the condition of erythroblastosis fetalis but if untreated and in the second pregnancy if the fetus is rh positive again from paternal side then the strength of antibodies will increase and may result in stillbirth and to avoid all these medical complications the mom and doctors come to know that the pregnant is rh negative and the fetus is rh positive and if it is second pregnancy the pregnant will be put on anti d injections well in advance to combat the antigen antibody reactions and to avoid the still birth so that she delivers a normal baby so because of medical advances you know as on today doc if this is the case doctors take precautionary measures to see to it that complications are avoided right only thing is the lady needs to be put on some injections that's all then the inheritance of rh factor you know for this wiener put forward a theory it's popularly called wiener's theory of multiple alleles the rh factor inheritance is also a case of multiple alleleism the rh antigen exists in three forms r0 r dash r double dash or you can say r o r dash and r double dash but presence of any of these forms makes a person rh positive therefore rh positive person have r and the rh negative person will have small r r doses of this particular gene okay then dear students it is the time to know the inheritance pattern of this rh factor let us consider case number 1 if both parents are rh positive homozygous so genotype is capital r capital r in both the couples okay husband and wife so the gametes will be automatically capital r and therefore all children are homozygous rh positive this is first case second case if both parents are rh positive but heterozygous capital r small r then you will see rh positive to rh negative phenotypic ratio 3 is to 1 all right they have worked out the checkerboard here then third case if both parents are rh negative so both husband and wife are smaller smaller they will produce gametes with smaller only all children invariably are rh negative okay then 
so this is the session summary you have learnt about rh positive and rh negative conditions based on presence or absence of rh antigen and then you have learnt about complications in blood transfusion you have learnt about erythroblastosis fetalis right and you have learnt about the three existing forms of rh antigen arbo r dash and r double dash right what makes a person rh positive now let us have some assessment questions so first assessment question is inheritance of rh factor was discovered by landsteiner wiener both a and b and none whatever is uh, you know presented in bold is the right answer so right answer is c that is both a and b the credit goes to landsteiner and wiener then second question which of the following statement is correct all children suffering from erythroblastosis vitalis were rh positive and were born to rh negative mothers erythroblasts are nucleated rbc and carry less oxygen a only first one is right b only second one is right c both first and second are right sorry for the typographic error that should have been 1 and 2 not 2 and 2 okay and d neither 1 nor 2 and the correct answer is c both statements are correct then question number 3 in erythroblastosis fetalis the fetus receives rh antigen from mother father both and fetus is rh negative invariably the answer is father from paternal side the antigen is received then next question in erythroblastosis vitalis mother suffers from hemolysis hemolytic jaundice and anemia fetus suffers from hemolysis hemolytic jaundice and anemia both suffer only the second pregnancy fetus suffers from this and the answer is b right so the fetus whether it is first pregnancy or second pregnancy suffers from hemolysis hemolytic jaundice and anemia all right then uh, these are some of the references and uh, you can log on to some websites also studyandscore.com okay then uh, biologytoppers.com like that and know more about this so my dear students it is the time for me to end my talk on this uh, session 6 pertaining to rh factor and its inheritance and medical complications of erythroblastosis fetalis thank you for your patient attention let me meet you in my next session till then stay blessed thank you